Hi there and welcome to Loopy Mabel Vintage Style. My name is Jane and if you're very new here please don't forget to hit that subscribe button you'll, then you'll never miss any of the videos and the tutorials that I bring out and if you're already a subscriber thank you so much for your support I really do appreciate it. Now in today's video it's going to be a tutorial on how to use up all your scrap fabrics. Now if you're a sewer or a crafter you're bound to have lots of leftover fabrics that you don't know what to do with well you don't throw them away because that's a no-no what you can do is lots of things and one of the things you can do is sew them all together and make some pretty scrappy strippy fabric so I'm going to show you how to do that and you can create something as simple as this patchy pocket and I shall show you in the tutorial how I made this and then hopefully inspire you so you can go out and then use up all your scrap fabrics. So to make our scrappy strip fabric, that's what I'm going to call it, I've got my box of scraps and obviously we're joined by Jordi here today. He's overseeing the process. What I generally do is before I start is decide what I want to make from my scrappy strip fabric. Do I want to make something small or do I want to make something fairly big? So based on what I'm going to be making, I then have to decide how much fabric I need. But in today's tutorial, I'm just going to make something small. Then obviously you just use the same process that I'm going to show you. And then you just make it bigger or smaller, depending on what project you're going to be making. So I'm just going to dive in, select some pretty fabrics, big enough for me to give me enough to make my patchy pocket. So let's have a look. So I'll do like a bit of ditzy. Let's see what we've got. That's quite pretty. And there's a bit more ditzy. I never throw anything away because you can always make something with it. So I've got some pretty green. Oh, that's quite pretty. So yeah, so I'm just going to select so enough to make my patchy pocket and then we'll cut them into strips. Right, so I'm just going to um, show you how I cut my fabrics into strips. And well, obviously I'm just making a patchy pocket for this example. So I need a bit of fabric that I can play around with but nothing too big. I've got my ruler, I've got my rotary cutter but you could just use scissors. Select what I'm going to be using. So I'm just going to line my ruler up, so I'm going to go for two inch strips on this particular project. So let's cut, just cut my fabric into strips. So I've got my fabrics that I've chose, they're all different lengths, that's, that's fine. And then I'm going to, I think that's the order I'm going to sew them in as well, but I'm not sure yet. We'll see when I get to the sewing machine. So all I need to do now is give them a quick press to make them nice and flat. And then I'm going to take them to the sewing machine and then we're going to sew all the strips together to make our strippy fabric. So that's all my strips all pressed and nice and smooth and I think that's the order I'm going to sew them in. So I'm going to take them over to my machine and sew the strips together to create my little piece of strippy fabric. <music>
see when you saw them together your two inch strips obviously becomes narrower so obviously depending on what size strip you're going to cut you have to remember that it's going to get thinner with your seam allowances so that's why I've cut mine in two inch strips but if you wanted to cut them smaller you can just be aware that when you actually finish sewing them all together they are going to be slightly thinner so I'm going to press this now so it's nice and neat so there we go it's all nicely pressed both sides trim off the off the ends and make it nice and neat So there's my strippy fabric so far. I'm going to make, as I said, I'm going to make a, a patch pocket in this piece. So I've just made a little paper template, the size roughly of what I'd like. I'm just cut it out of paper and I've just given it rounded edges for this one, but you could do whatever template you want. It's just out of scrap paper and that's roughly the size I'd like. So if you're making a cushion or you're making a bag, obviously you need to make your, your strippy fabric much much bigger and then you can play about and you've got plenty of room to cut out whatever your template that you've made right so I'm just going to back my pocket now with some more fabric so I'm just going to pick something to back it with whatever I've got enough of and I should have just enough of that fabric there so I'm just going to back it in that fabric there so make it really really pretty and then I'm going to attach my template and then cut around it so when I put my template down onto my uh, fabric and I've got my backing ready, I'm just going to make sure that it's in the centre and I've got the same seam allowance on both sides because if I put it towards the side like so, you're going to find that your strips are going to be odd on that end. So I'm just going to make sure it's centred in the middle and then I'm going to pin it and then I'll cut it out. So I'm going to use this as my back end of my patchy pocket so I'm just going to give it a quick press and then that's nice and flat for me to pin pin my template to. Put right sides together and then making sure that my pocket is even both sides. I'm just going to pin it and then cut it out. So I've got my scrappy strip fabric there and I've got my back in. And I'm just going to take it to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew all the way around and leave a little bit of an opening here so I can turn it through and press it. So I'm just going to go to the sewing machine. Just pin it in place. You could use any fabric to back it with. It's the beauty of making this strippy scrap fabric. You can use anything at all. So I'm going to leave a little bit of an opening here, then I can turn it through. So I'm going to start down the bottom. my opening I've left so I can turn it through. So I'm just going to go back to the ironing board, turn it through and press it. I'm just going to clip the corners. Some of the excess away so it's not too bulky. I'll just turn it all through. nice 
nice press. So we're just going to pin that opening so it's closed. Make sure it's nice and neat. So I've pinned the opening close and I'm just going to hand saw that close so you can't see that. So I'm just going to get a needle and thread. There we go. So I've hand sewn that opening close so it's lovely and neat. And there we have our patchy pocket. So I'm going to add my patchy pocket to a blouse that I've got. So I've just pinned it in place to where I want it to be and I'm just going to take it to the sewing machine and I'll show you how I attach my pockets. So I'm just going to pop my blouse under the footer. Now obviously I'm just ensuring that I'm not going to sew through both layers of my blouse. So I'm going to reinforce both of the corners. my patchy pocket on the front of my blouse absolutely love that and I'm going to give my blouse a lovely press and I shall show you what it looks like on my mannequin so there is a close-up of the pocket so I've done my reinforced corners and I've top stitched all the way around and then obviously it's got the pretty lining too I mean, how pretty is that fabric? How pretty is that pocket? Added to my blouse, it's always going to be unique to you. How amazing is that? I just love the fact that everything you make is unique. So that is just one of the things you can do. So I'm just going to zoom in for you so you can see it close up. And then... Pretty lining. How lovely is that? So I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial as much as I did. I love using up all my scrap fabrics. I hate throwing anything away. And why would you want to throw it away when you can make lots of pretty things with it? All you do, like I showed you in your tutorial, sew them all together, give them a nice press for a pocket like I did here. Or a template for maybe a cushion cover or a bag. There's lots of things, no end, honestly. So don't throw your scrap fabrics away put them together and make some scrappy fabric there you go you've got something you can sew with straight away and it hasn't cost you anything either so i hope you enjoyed it please give me that lovely thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that will really make my day and i'll continue to make lots more videos and tutorials for you so i'm now off to go and plan my next tutorial so until the next time please take care and happy sewing mm -hmm.